015. The cost 015 matrix um, has has been calculating the quantum cost of one qubit gate to be one, two qubit gate, uh, sorry, one qubit gate to be zero, two qubit gate is one, and the Toffley gate is five. So the, the aim of this work is to optimize or reduce the quantum cost of reversible circuit. This will help in building uh, quantum uh, computers. And then in order to optimize, we have to know the optimization rules. So the optimization rules is moving rules and merging rules. In table two from the paper, the gate N1, it's like not that uh, works in three qubit system. This gate uh, is applied on the first qubit and then it can be swabbed or switched or moved with N that works on two or N that works on three or any of two qubit gates uh, with a condition that uh, the, the one qubit gate doesn't work on the same qubit that the control qubit of the second gate, two qubit gate works. So this is the moving rules. And then there is merge rules. Merge rules are applied uh, when the first, the control and the control uh, of the first gate and the control of the second gate are the same. Also, the target of the first gate and the target of the second gate is the same. Finally, if the first control is the is as the target control of the second qubit and vice versa, then these combination form a two qubit gate. So the quantum cost is reduced from two to one. Optimizing the reversible circuits uh, of three three qubits is that is by knowing all the possibilities of it. So in a three qubit uh, reversible uh, system, there's two to the power n factorial, which two to the power three factorial. So eight factorial is 40,320 circuits. So the number of equivalent circuits for each circuit depends on the number of gates that forms this circuit. So if I'm talking about a, Toffoli gate, uh, a circuit that consists of two Toffoli gates, and each of these gates has eight different decompositions. So the possibility for a, a short circuit of two uh, Toffoli gates only can be 64 different circuits. So this is a lot. And uh, circuits are normally not that short. So we had to figure out a way in order to optimize this uh, system. So the first method optimization using ba basic pairs of gates. This is the first method that we have used in our work. The second method is optimizing the negative NCT library. The NCT library that consists of NOT, C0 and Toffley. We have modified this uh, library in order to use negative control qubits because the the system is more stable in the ground state. So this is the negative NCT library and it consists of NOT gates in figure A and then figure C contains the OC NOT gate. So it's basically a C NOT gate but the control qubit is negative. That means that it works only if the, um, key, the, if the control state is zero and the same for autofill gates it's like it's uh, as a um, Toffoli gate, but the control qubits are both negative. So we have created this or modified the NCT library in order to have negative controls. And of course, we had to modify the decompositions uh, in order to be like uh, for negative controls. So this is the decomposition of uh, T123. So T123 is the first and the second qubit is the control and three is the target. So uh, we have created these based on the positive controls in, in this reference. This is Toffoli123. And this is the first decomposition. 
of it. So I have numbered from zero to seven, the number of decomposition in order to use it in the future. So this is uh, T132, and this is 231. So I have uh, created this table in order to say, um, to uh, clarify each uh, decomposition with the corresponding gate. So for three cubic gate like Toffoli, one, two, three, one, three, two, and two, three, one, each one of these had has eight different decompositions. And for the gate one uh, C or not, um, they have only one decomposition because it's already um, the minimal number of gates. So this have uh, only one decomposition. I denoted is with uh, decomposition number zero. And then there is order pair OP in this paper. What's an order pair? It's like uh, it only concerns with the control qubit and the target qubit. It doesn't concern with the functionality of uh, the decomposition or the gate itself. So this is the composition L10, which is C123. So it consists of five different gates. So let's see this gate, the gate I. Gate I is a V gate. Its control is the second qubit and the target is the third qubit. So if I want to know the OP of this gate, it's going to be the control qubit, which is the second. And then this is how I write it, like an order pair. And for the target qubit, it is uh, three. So if the OP of I is two, three. Let's take another example, uh, V, number four, uh, five. So the control qubit is the first one. So I write one in the first place. And then the target qubit is on uh, three. So I write three on the second place. Of course, I would like uh, if I would like to know uh, the decomposition, the OP of this gate, it's one, two, number three, two, three, and number two is one, two. So it doesn't, I don't care about the the functionality of the game, of the gate itself. I, all I really want to know is the first, the control cupid and the target cupid only. Then there is right and left gate sets in the um, in the paper, RJ and LG sets. All LG it's like left gate, and RG is right gate. So it concerns with the left and right gate of a decomposition. So it's the same decomposition, and I want to know what's the uh, LG LG the right most uh, the left most uh, gate. So in this. In this uh, example, it's two, three. So I I uh, create an OP of the gate on the left hand side. OK, what if I want to add another one? So I see two can't be modified, it can't be uh, switched with I, with uh, I. So it's it's uh, only the two, three. So LG set is two and three. Let's take another example. RG, the right gate, from the rightmost gate is 1, 3. The OP is 1, 3. And then I see the, the gate before it, it's uh, 1, 2. 1, 3 and 1, 2 can be uh, switched with, is with each other. So I will add another OP to the RG set. OK, this is uh, the first method. And then I have created all the LG set and RG set of all the different decompositions. In order to uh, build the basic pair, the basic pair consists only of two gates, and then it's um, based on different Doffley decompositions. Then the RG set, if I want to uh, optimize two consecutive gates, I will search for the RG set of the first gate, that match the uh, LG set of the second gate. So in this example, L10, 
L2-1, I will tell you why I have shown uh, this example. So, L1-0, it has the RG set of these. This is the, R, the large RG set. And then L2 has these as an LG set. So I will search these um, boxes in order to see the, the most match or the perfect match. So the match is 1, 2, 1, 3, with 1, 2, and 1, 3. I will tell you that the, the bigger or the more you have uh, matched, the more optimization you will get. So in this example, I can take um, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, with 1 and 2 only. But this will uh, make me lose another, um, another gate, uh, gate reduction. So it's better to find the most or the largest set that match the RG set and the LG set. Uh, for building a basic pair, it's the same example. So this is L1, the composition number 0, and this is L2, the composition number 1. If you see the two gates in the middle in figure A, the two gates in the middle, if I have a switch them uh, in B, I can switch this one with this one, then there's a possibility that I can reduce the, these uh, gates in another gate. So these gates are reduced in V dagger, and these gates are reduced to V dagger 2. Then C, I have this uh, combination. Then this is the first result, resulting, um, resulting gate. Then I will make it uh, go to the right hand side because I can swap it with all of these and then this is the second gate I have created so I will uh, move it to the left hand side and then finally in the middle there is uh, two gates that are going to be merged into one gate and the quantum cost is reduced from 10 to 7. Basic pairs in building quantum uh, circuits, it, I have created a method. I called it fun function one. Function one uh, splits the circuits into basic pairs and solitary gate. So I will um, make you see this example. If I have this circuit, it consists of five uh, different circuits, then I will decompose each one of these. Uh, the quantum cost before reduction is 17. And then I will see that the, the corresponding basic pair from the already uh, prepared the basic pairs. And then it consists of one basic pair, one basic pair and solitary gate. Solitary gate is the gate in its zeros uh, decomposition. So after applying optimization rules, here, I have created uh, reversible circuits that the cost is reduced from 17 to 11. Then the modified circuit optimization uh, algorithm is choosing from function 1 or function 2. So let me go back one slide, two slides. OK, this is function 1. This is function 1 that splits each uh, circuit from the very most uh, left hand gate, left hand side gate, and then there is function two. This is function two that splits from the second gate on the left hand side. So let's see another example. This is a circuit that consists of five uh, five gates. The quantum cost is eleven, and then I will split it like the first method, which is five uh, function one the possibility the quantum cost is reduced to 10. And then I will uh, use function 2 in order to split starting the second gate. So one solitary gate, one basic pair, and uh, finally a basic pair. So the, the quantum cost of function 2 is 8. So um, 8 is better than 10. So 
I will uh, choose the function two to build my reversible circuit, and then the finite quantum cost is reduced to seven. So it's not um, that every circuit is better to be constructed with uh, function two, or every circuit is uh, better is if it's building with fu function one. So uh, the algorithm, the modified quantum circuit algorithm, um, chooses between the two circuits, the two uh, decompositions or the two functions, depending on the uh, natural nature of the circuit itself. And then, uh, in order to map the negative NCT library on IPM quantum experience, we have uh, faced some difficulties. The first one is that uh, it, yeah, the, the IPM quantum experience doesn't currently support negative control. So I have an equivalent circuit for the negative control. It can be See, it can be not, then a positive control, and then another not. So this is what I have done in my example. I replaced each uh, negative control with not, positive, not. The second end is the weak dagger. It's not supported also in quantum uh, experience currently. So if I have, if I want to use a V dagger, I created V. And, uh, and then uh, C naught. So it's uh, already mapped like uh, shown in this figure. The result, uh, the NCT library in the best, uh, best previous work was having a quantum cost of 10.348. Uh, and this is our new quantum cost after uh, applying the modified optimization algorithm that chooses from function one and function two. And this is a grayson two that uh, uses only function one. So both are better. And in the costs 115, if I will uh, calculate the not gate as uh, one, see a uh, two cupid gate as one and toffly gate as five. So this is uh, the previous work in work in literature, and this is the work that we have created. Thank you. Um, if you have any question, uh, please tell me. Uh, thank you, Mariam, very much for uh, your presentation. Uh, so, uh, anyone has question, you may raise your hand or write comments uh, on the chat. Can you can you raise your hands? Uh, if, uh... Yeah, Marie. Yes, uh, actually, I noticed that too. Uh, thanks to. Uh, so your comment, uh, Marim, can you uh, 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 present your results again? Because uh, the bottom right part was not visible. OK, I the average. It's not uh, it's, it's hidden. The numbers is not clear. So, something is uh, is hiding the numbers. Something is hiding the numbers. Hey, it's not clear. That's 10.078. Uh, yes. 10.202 okay. uh, is clear for algorithm uh, 2, but two. for algorithm yeah. 4, it's not clear. Okay, uh, just give me one second. I'm trying. Maybe you can minimize uh, the presentation, uh, move it somewhere else, because you have some where, yes. Okay, can you say the uh, Yes, okay. It's clear now. You can zoom uh, the, um, the slides, Mariam. Okay, yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Is it clear now? Uh, it's clear now, uh, uh, Saban. Okay. 
Can you move to the other slides, Marie? The, the other results. The other result? Yes, sure. This is the other result. In the work in literature, it was uh, 12.591. And then for the algorithm one, it's um, 11.333. And for the modified uh, circuit optimization algorithm, it's uh, 11.209. This is the NCT library, and this is the negative NCT library. Okay, Mary, thank you very much. You're welcome. So if anyone uh, has any question, please uh, raise your hand or write comment. see that um, no question is coming. Uh, okay, there is a question from Helen. Uh, she is asking, is it possible to plot a chart for the data? Do you think um, it's better to plot a chart for the data? I, I, I don't really understand what's plotting data. You put it in a curve instead of a table. Do you think it is a, a good curve? idea? Uh, it can be done. Yes, yeah, sure. I can do that in the future. Okay. Yes. Maybe I can do it in the future, Helen. You're welcome. Okay, everyone, I can see that uh, no more questions uh, is coming. Uh, maybe we can wait for another one minute. So actually, I, I have a question for you, Mariam. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, can you can you show the, the, the example on the IBM quantum circuit, uh, the IBM uh, quantum experience? Uh, the, the real one, not uh, the screenshot, right? Yes, the real one, yes. Okay. Do you, do you, uh, okay, uh, let, let me ask it uh, directly without showing the, the picture. Uh, uh, do you think uh, uh, a certain architecture uh, on IBM will be much better than other architecture? So which, which architecture, which uh, quantum, uh, 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 quantum, IBM quantum computer you used? Which architecture? I was using uh, our ends, but they have closed it. But it can be uh, applied on other architectures. Okay, so changing the architecture may affect the efficiency of the circuit? Yes, changing the efficiency, the architecture will um, uh, like give uh, different results on, on different architectures. So uh, what's the benefit of the negative control over the positive control? So wh why did you decide to use the negative control? I decided to use negative control because um, the system, when it, it's in the ground state, it's more stable. So using negative controls is uh, more convenient uh, while using uh, the quantum system. Okay, Marie, thank you. Um, I don't see any more questions, so uh, I'd Maybe like to thank Dr. Marie. Sorry? Dr. Gandia. Okay. Can you I see just questions? Had someone raising his hand. Okay. Dr. Gandia. Okay, I, I, I will allow you to mute now. So. Uh, 
You can unmute now and ask your question, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 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 anybody explains to healthcare application using with uh, quantum computing? Sorry, uh, I didn't hear your question. Can you repeat? Uh, using to uh, healthcare industry for uh, quantum industry. Computing. Sorry, I, I'm not hearing well. Could you please um, repeat your question? Uh, the quantum application using to any healthcare applications. Application? Uh, he, he's, he's asking, uh, I, I think he's asking about uh, what is the applications of quantum computing on uh, healthcare industry. Uh, yeah, sir, it's a healthcare high. industry. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. healthcare industry. Okay, the, it's not, um, it's out of my uh, research scope. But maybe Professor Ahmed is better uh, than me in answering this question. Okay, thank you, Mariam. Uh, actually, uh, quantum computing is like uh, any other uh, computer, but with more powerful, uh, uh, with more computational uh, power. So uh, uh, the applications, the most important application in, in, in quantum, in, in, in healthcare industry is uh, um, uh, image processing, for example. Uh, that uh, you have, you can process uh, uh, thousands of images to, to take decisions. So yes, quantum computing has applications in healthcare industry and in any other industry. Uh, if we have a, a real quantum computer today, so we'll have applications in all fields. Uh, do you have any uh, uh, another question, Doctor? Uh, and then? No more questions. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, interesting. So thank you everyone for uh, attending today. Uh, wait for our next uh, Hepatia talk uh, in two weeks. Uh, and uh, thank you again for joining us today and hope you find the presentation useful. Marin, did you want to say anything on uh, on the on the screen? The real, uh, uh, the real yes, quantum. this is the real uh, IPM quantum uh, experience. So uh, this is the really. same this case. Is, uh, this is uh, the actual uh, quantum. Yes, subject. this is the actual one. Uh, this is the same gate and it's really interesting. The quantum experience is really interesting because uh, when you drag and drop these gates, it's um, it writes the the code on the right hand side, so uh, you can export or or import your uh, code here, and then there is a Bloch sphere. It's like Bloch sphere, and you can rotate it. And then this is the state vector and the probabilities. After measurement, I have um, on the real quantum computer, I have found that it's like more than 70% accurate uh, the, on the quantum computer, so this is good. Okay, Mary, thank you very much. Uh, I will stop thank the recording you. now.